So I'm going to set the timing on my Moto Becane CDI unit here. And uh, my first step is to pick off this flywheel. So I'm going to use this here hose clamp. And of course it's a right handed nut. And I'll show you a little, little trick we got here. So, I gotta anchor this flywheel, or it's just gonna spin the heck around when I try to turn this nut. So, I put my hose clamp on. I've got this giant silly extension on this nut driver here, but you'll see why. Put that in. Remove this nut now. Again, left-handed nut. And I'm going to hang on to that up here. Now, of course, that baby's pressed on there, so I'm going to have to use my handy-dandy puller here and uh, take that baby off. Sorry about the poor lighting in my shed, but. Yeah, we work with what we got. Now I need a oh. and that's it. Uh flywheel can come right off of there. See my little line up mark there for when I do set timing. Goes with this mark here. I've had an issue a couple times with this stator plate coming loose, so I like to give it a little check. And uh, that's the part for tearing off the flywheel. Now I have to set up the top end with my uh, simple timing tool. Yeah, pretty simple. You put that in the spark plug hole, turn your piston, and it'll uh, get stuck at top dead center if you tighten that screw up. And then you can gap it with your feeler gauges. I've got my timing set at 1.9 millimeters before top dead center right now. And that really helped it out from the 1.8 I had it at really pepped up so I'm gonna see how far my limit can go I'm gonna go with 2.07 millimeters eventually I'll go so far and I'm sure it'll just stop improving and actually get worse but for now we'll play yeah get the spark plug out of here and I also have a temperature gauge with a sensor that's going bad on me that's another story entirely. Uh, so my next step is to get this timing tool inside that spark plug hole. But there's usually a bit of a clearance issue with the frame. So what I usually do to take care of that is any old something to slip in between that belt and the big pulley. Well, wow, looky here. An old pull start handle. Yeah, that's pretty much all I need. It's just something to take up an inch or so and pull that motor into the variated position. So, I've already pre-measured my feeler gauges to 2.07 millimeters 
And I'm going to reach around the other side. Turn the crank. Find top dead center. Just by turning the engine forward. Oh. And now I can turn the wheel. I will turn the crank forward. And it'll push that up. And there's my top dead center right there. So now I can really tighten that. And I'll put my feeler gauges in there. Already measured up to what I'm looking for. So I'll put that in there. Turn the crank forward. And that's 2.07 millimeters before top dead center. Now, no cameraman available. It's just me. I will line up these two lines. Get a little fresh with my hand. Ah. I'm talking with a flashlight in my mouth, so hey, what can you do? Get a little. And One more time. There she is. Put my gauge in there. And I can see that my two lines are lined up right there. Give that flywheel one more hard wrap. There's my hose clamp. Wrap around the flywheel. I left the socket driver attached to the clamp, or at least on the head of the screw. And the socket driver is supported on the ground. I'm thinking that's about enough.